Hi everyone, this is Yelena Kraus and welcome to another card video. In this video we'll show you how to make this card using the new Catherine Puller designs, say it with diamond stamp set and show you how easy it is to line up all these diamonds uh, with just simply having a ruler and pencil. So let's get started. Uh, um, you will want to start with a panel of white cardstock. Here I'm using the Catherine Puller designs um, premium white cardstock and I'm centering that sentiment using the grid on the misty. You can use either a misty or you can use acrylic block. So for me it's easier to use the misty so that's what I'm I'm using the grid onto uh, the misty to position this uh, sentiment. Stamping in twice because it didn't press well the first time and uh, that part on the left side wasn't really stamped well. Next I'm finding the center. This uh, You can actually even skip this step. I just wanted to make sure that my, the sentiment is centered nicely. So I'm drawing a vertical line across the center of um, the cardstock. Uh, my ruler is one and a half inches uh, wide and it perfectly fits for these diamonds from the set. So I'm drawing two um, lines. I'm um, making sure that the edges of the ruler are parallel with the edges of the diamond sentiment. And next I'll create my grid. I will draw lines, parallel lines, using the lines on the ruler, uh, each three quarter inches in distance from each other, which is half of the ruler. So the parallel lines, um, if you have a ruler with parallel lines like this one, it's very helpful. If not, you can use any other ruler. It will be a little bit more time consuming, but um, it again, when it comes to the stamping later, it will save you a lot of times. time. So now my grid is um, already done and I'm using a stamping mat to put my panel onto so when I uh, stamp the images I'll have a nicer impression. So I'm starting with the smaller diamonds. You can start with um, whichever you want but I wanted to start with the smaller and I'm using here um, Lime Ricky ink pad to stamp those little kind of branch diamonds. Uh, you will want to use uh, three to four colors. Uh, that kind of makes for more um, nicer image, nicer background. So usually I use um, one of each color family. So I'm using greens, blues, yellows, and pinks or reds. So um, here I'm using Lime Ricky, all that jazz. Tiara and a uh, flirt of fuchsia. So next I'm stamping uh, another large, uh, larger diamond using the tiara ink. So I'm creating this design uh, to be symmetrical uh, along that vertical line that I drew across the middle of the panel. So either you can start with the larger diamonds or they're smaller, it doesn't really matter. Um, I decided here, as you saw, that to start with the smaller, then larger, and I'm going back to the smaller ones to fill in the empty uh, spots. So here I'm using the fl flirty fuchsia. Again, you can use any colors you want. I just feel that um, for a balanced um, look when we use um, stamps to create pattern or to cover the whole panel. Um, I, I want to use colors from different color families. So here we're, um, I finished uh, the panel. Next I'll take my paper trimmer you can leave it as it is or you can trim the sides. Here I'm trimming the sides because I, w I wanted to have a little bit of um, cardstock uh, po poking out on the side, not really poking, but poking, but have a strips. 
strip of color on the sides. So uh, make sure that your ink is dry before you go in with the eraser and erase those uh, grid lines that you drew. Next, um, take a top folding note card or you can do side folding. Here I cut a um, piece of Catherine Puller Designs uh, premium white cardstock into half lengthwise and fold it and scored it in half. Next I took the all the jazz ink pad and um, swiped it across uh, the sides of that uh, panel, the folded note card to create four um, colored ca cardstock. To finish off your card you can add some uh, embellishments. I decided to add some jewels with coordinating colors as the stamped images. So I went with blues, gr uh, pinks and greens and yellows of course. So I'm using some um, matte medium, Ranger matte medium. Uh, I have it in a separate bottle in a like I put a new no nozzle to have more controlled flow of that ink. Adhere the jeweler jewels and that finishes my card. So thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye!